something scraping. That doesn't sound good. The good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Tuesday evening night here at Pond Bank Farms. As you can see, it's dark outside already. So I have been working on the 6185 for the past little while. Got the all the gear oils dropped. So the back, the back end, and front hubs, and the front axle all dropped. So I'm gonna let them drain overnight and then fill them up. I don't know when I'm going to fill them up yet. I'm probably going to wait till we have the fan back so I can warm the oils up a bit before before um, I use it. It's not that cold in here, but if you've ever worked with ADW90, you know how that stuff goes when it's even kind of cold. So Good morning, guys. So sorry that I, uh, I just quit filming last night. I had to come in and paint, uh, help my wife paint this room. So we had the black wall painted before, and we had to paint the other walls so um that's what i was doing last night back to the daily grind So as you can tell, I'm mixing feed right now. Um, this afternoon, I got some hay sold I gotta deliver. Um, it's already getting later in the day. I had to milk this morning. I had to milk the last few mornings. My dad's a little under the weather. But, uh, and then I had a meeting after breakfast with the um, landlord, someone we rent land from. So it's already midday, noon. I don't know, I think it's around 12 o'clock. So when the feeds mix, I'm gonna go have lunch, then I gotta deliver this hay, and we'll see where else, or what else we can get done tonight. So it still looks like there's a few bales on this wagon that, for the, that Jake brought up for the heifers. So we just got to unload that first and then we're going to take a load of hay. Okay, let's go out to the field and grab the bales. Oh, it looks like there's Jake coming to uh, do the calves here. I'll have to show you in the barn here sometime. We got, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 calves in there. I'm just uh, getting bales right now. So, as you can see, we are on our way with a load of bales. Just taking my good old time. I don't want to get salt on the tractor too much. So this laneway is a fairly steep hill due to it being snow covered and the snow slippery. I didn't want to risk bringing the wagon down. So I'm taking three bales down at a time. So we got one bale behind us, two in front. Only two more bales to unload. Okay, now I just gotta find a place to turn around up here. I think there's a side road I can, should be enough room here. Think this is enough room, Clyde? We better let these people pass us. Okay. Now we're going to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh yeah, that was perfect. And now we're on our way home. Good morning. I'm on milking duty again this morning. Um, I've been milking the last few mornings. My dad's been feeling under the weather, so. Um, got here a little late this morning, so. Just getting started, but. Shouldn't be too long before I'm down here. All right, we're almost done. We got 
four cows left to milk. So these two more milkers and then we're done milking. Then I gotta just uh, do the milk house, put the milkers away, start the wash. Looks like we've got a new fresh cow here that needs to get milked yet. Just mixing feed. An interesting fact about today. Today is exactly the 11th. Marks the, um, marks the, um, the anniversary of the 11th year that we have been farming up here. So, that's kind of cool. So, we're just unloading it now. Uh, the conveyor, as you can see, isn't quite wide enough. This conveyor of the mixer is too wide for this mixer. We got the hopper here helping that. Not ideal, but it works. And then it just conveyors it up in the barn, uh, right there. So it's just a uh, old forage wagon we have up here, hooked onto a ten horse motor, I want to say. And then uh, there's a switch downstairs. We just drop it down downstairs. So this is our calf barn here. We have uh, this side open here and the hutch is underneath. Uh, about, I want to say four years ago, uh, the original barn was just just uh, that part there with the roof over top of it. And the uh, we had a bunch of snow on. One winter I went to shovel it off because we thought it was too much and realized the trusses were starting to it was pretty bouncy up there and uh, so we tore that down tore off the roof put a new roof on and did a lean-to where we could put hutches underneath and uh, store more calves and you know how I don't know any farmer out there any cattle farmer that has hutches I don't, knows. I don't know why but calves always do so much better in hutches it is February the 1st and when do you know it snow is melting hasn't been the coldest winter but what do you do? Hopefully we don't pay for this in March. Hey guys, good morning. It's a new morning here. So, uh, I didn't video too much yesterday. I didn't actually get to a whole lot besides chores in. So I'm milking this morning and uh, going away for the day. Finish milking up here. Then got to get feed mixed and do some other odds and ends and hoping to leave around noon or so. so. Yeah. Looks like this milker here is pulling a little tight. So we gotta adjust this, slide it up a bit. And that, we'll slide that down so it's hanging st more straight. Okay, let's get feed mixed for these hummies. So I got uh, someone coming in a few hours to pick up some uh, hay bales they're buying. And I also, I believe Dad's picking up the uh, motor for our um, fan, for our furnace in our shop in a, in a bit here. So when I'm done mixing, I want to quick put that on before I go away for the, while well, we're going away today and tomorrow. So I want to get that done, get the shop warmed up a bit. Let's see if the mixer tractor's up here somewhere. I think it's out here, hopefully. Yes, sir. Here it is. That was a close one. I was worried for a bit it wouldn't start. Okay, we'll let that warm up a bit. So I'm just out here grabbing the last two bales of the uh, six that I'm taking up that we're selling. 
Okay, so these bales can be waiting for them and then back to the feed. We should be here about half hour or so to pick them up, so they're up here now anyway. Ten minutes here. I actually got the fan installed. Got the wiring hooked up. Just gotta install the panel across here. Gonna fire it up. Hopefully everything works. Okay, big moment of truth here. Something's scraping. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so the fan slides in and out. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I centered it. It's not scraping anymore, but I thought it should be more stationary, but it can slide and then it can scrape the outside, but maybe it just doesn't when it gets started. I don't know. Anyway, I gotta put this piece of plywood on here. So the air hat is forced through there, not here. Okay, I gotta get going in. I am running late. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it. We will see you in the next one.